he did not care. <laughs> what a very strange riding outfit as well. Hello everybody, how are you? Hope you're all safe, hope you are all well. I'm with my good friend, Uncle Red. Tonight, it is Wednesday, we are off to Brew Point. I do think it's the last Brew Point bike meet of the year. I think it wraps up after tonight for the winter, which is a bit unfortunate, but hey ho, it is dry, there are blue skies, and there's a lovely sunset going on just behind me. So you can't complain. What lovely, what a lovely way to wrap up the uh, Brew Point biking season, as it were. And yeah, still chilly though. Very, very chilly. The fleeces are out, the thermals are on. Ooh, not happy. <laughs> I have got a bit of a, a bit of a conundrum for you all today. I, uh, in one of my recent videos, I had a, a comment. Ah, oh, sorry, that that view. Every single time, it just catches me. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Especially with the weather we're having right now. It is cold, like I said, but still, still dry enough and still very nice enough to uh, allow us that view. But anyway, back to what I want to talk about today. So, I recently had a comment on a video that said. Um, well, it was actually addressed to me and Red. If me and Red could have a second bike, what would that bike be? Now, I'm actually going to ask that to every single one of you. Now, I know some of you have second bikes. I know some of you have third bikes. Hippo drones, I'm looking at you. I know you've got a collection. Um, but to you people uh, that are very fortunate enough to have second or thirds or fifths or whatever bikes, uh, my maths was awful there. For you guys, for this example, you're going to have to take away all those bikes. You're going to have to pick one that is your main bike, so your first bike. And then you are you have to pick a second bike that you would own, but it's not allowed to be one that you already own. So hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. But I want to ask this question right back at you guys. If you, own, uh, if you could own a second bike, what would that bike be? And what I'm also going to ask is why? Why would that, why would that be your second bike? There is a bike behind us. It is a BMW GS. He must be going to the bike meet. You people must be going to the bike meet. There is a man over there with a Triumph Sprint. <laughs> so, there is too much happening for me. <laughs> My small, tiny brain cannot comprehend everything. Right, well, considering I asked the question, I should answer the question. So, obviously, for the time being, hint, hint, wink, wink, ha ha, cough, cough, all that. Uh, the Triumph Sprint ST 1050 is my uh, is my main, it's my only bike. However, if I could own a second bike, what would it be? Now, one of my all-time favourite motorcycles ever is the original Gen 1 Yamaha YZF R1. I don't know why, I just absolutely love it. And I prefer it even over the, the new R1s. Not because the new R1s aren't good, they're awesome. Of course they are. However, the YZF R1, just, it just looked the part to me. It looked the absolute bollocks and um so beefy so tanky just changed the the sports bike game for me during the time of its release so uh i would have to go with uh that would obviously be one of them red has absolutely thrown me there i did not know he was going to go for that fair play to him um yeah so that that would definitely be up there however i would not have it i wouldn't have it as a second bike simply because my first bike is always it's always got sports in it somewhere. Yes, I know the Triumph Sprint is not a super sport bike, but it is a sports tourer, so I can't own two of the same. I would want something completely different, something well out there. And um, obviously the BMW GS behind us uh, would be a prime example. I know some people, I know most people probably have a GS as a main bike and then something else a bit of fun. However, don't worry, I wouldn't have a GS, but I think I would go for something like a Triumph Bonneville. Which one? I'm not too sure. Either that or a Harley Davidson Sports Glide. And the reason I say the Sports Glide, it's not because I didn't like the Street Glide, it's just that 
I absolutely loved the Sports Glide. My smile was, ah, oh, it was just too big. The enjoyment was incredible. And it would be something completely different to what I would have as a first bike. The Triumph Bonneville, well, that speaks for itself. It's got history, it's got class, and, um, well, I might need a Triumph in my life. Again, hint, hint, cough, cough, wink, wink, ha, ha, sprinty, may or may not be with us next year. Who knows? All right, guys, brew point. Here we are. Definitely not as busy as what it's been other months. The cold has put some people off. Um, hopefully, I haven't made this video too long. I really do try not to make them too long, but I know what I'm like. This will probably be the last time you see brew point this year on a video. Like I say, this is, as far as I'm aware, this is the last brew point meet of the year. And that is sad, but I can understand doubt people are going to turn up next month especially when it's um especially when it's already getting this quiet now but uh oh well just want to say a huge thank you to the people at brew point who have organized these bike meets because it has been something totally different it has been something really cool i've uh i thoroughly enjoyed these bike meets they are they are awesome red i have a question for you yeah. if you could own a second bike what would it be and why no no limits no budgets just second bike and why so you own the kawasaki vulcan second bike and why yeah. i've put you on the spot i know but it's part of the video we got asked this in one of my on in the comments in one of my previous videos they said if you and red could own a second bike what would it be and why at the moment at the moment don't know, but I'd lean towards maybe the Z1000 or the ZH2. Ooh, why? Because I want to go faster sometimes. <laughs> Good answer. I like his answer. We, we'll take that red. Don't worry, we'll I take like it. Right, there you have it. I hope that's answered your question. I hope it's a good answer. I think it is. Can you imagine red on a H2? Oh, Z1000 uh, HR2. That would be awesome, would it? ZH2, yeah. yeah, that would be your bike. That'd be awesome. Yeah. That'd be awesome. I don't fucking trust Ducati. <laughs> <laughs> but really, you want a Street Fighter, don't you? A V4S. That'd be hilarious. That would be funny. I would pay to see that. But, but I would not even, I would not even give Ducati any of my money. The horror stories I've heard from them. None of your money. The oil quality, bad. <laughs> Right guys, I'm going to wrap it up here, but as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not give it a like? Why not leave a comment? Of course, you have to leave a comment because I want to know your second bikes and why. And if you're not subscribed, why not? Hit that subscribe button. Head over to Instagram <laughs> and follow at the Rhythmic Biker. And whilst you're there, I suppose you can check out at that Uncle Red. <laughs> <laughs> head over to his channel if you want and subscribe to that i suppose if you've got nothing better to do <laughs> i'm walking away from him now and as always guys thank you so much for watching cheers bye bye